Thanks be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We testify that there is no God worthy of worship except Him, and that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is His messenger. May Allah please with Him. May Allah have mercy on Him. And, um, uh, brothers in Islam, Allah says in the Holy Quran that He gives wisdom to whom He pleased. And whoever is given wisdom, he indeed is given great good and none but men of understanding mind. Brothers in Islam, the, the best hikmah, wisdom, is to know the right of your Lord. To know the right of Allah. And the right of Allah is to worship Him without associating anything with Him. Without putting, uh, giving, uh, having a partner in His worship. And to thank Him for all that He has given you. Then the second wisdom is to know the right of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his right is that you must follow his teachings as far as you are Muslim. You must follow the teaching of the Prophet. Do not do anything except by asking how did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teach us to do it. Don't do it by yourself. Mm. Prefer his teaching than you are understanding. Then the second, the third wisdom is to know the right of the people you are living with. You are a human being, living with human beings. You may find yourself in a position to administer, to administer something in administration, in everything you do. Wisdom is to put everything in its place. Wisdom is to see that this is better than this when, or when doing things, when disposing, disposing something. You have to weigh and see. What will be more beneficial to my people than what you wish, what you like? If two things, if you, are fi you find yourself to do two things and both of them are good, choose the better one and do it for your people. If you find yourself in such a way that doing this is good, but there is bad thing that attached to it. It's better for you to make sure that you have uh, you have you have this uh, you have uh, you have done what is right. It means if two things come together, this is good and this is bad. Don't listen to the good one. Protect yourself from the bad one. Try to avoid that bad one then to, face, then to face the good one. And if two bad, bad, bad things, you, are, you must follow, you must do one of the bad things, two bad things. Choose the less bad and do it. This is Islam, and this is hikmah, this is wisdom. If you are a leader, and you have decided to do something, and this thing, your followers, or you are the, the, the people under you, are being disturbed by what you are doing, you have to check it very well and see. Should I go on or should I stop it? Because my people is suffering. If I do it, they will suffer. Before I, I achieve what I want, the suffering will be too much for them. 
then you have to stop that one and think of the time that that thing should be done. Think of the time that, that thing should be done. Yes. Don't continue doing things that your people are suffering. And those that are suffering are the masses. Are the masses. Yes. So, all, all what I want to say is that you have heard from me. I was not able to write it down to explain very well. But I hope the message is received. May Allah guide us right. May Allah give us wisdom. May Allah give us the ability to apply the wisdom He has given us. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم إباد الله إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد قوموا إلى الصلاة رحمكم الله